All right, welcome back, Campus Waterfowl Podcast, fifth weekend, fifth school, Bowling Green State University, the Falcons. I'm your host, Kyle Barnes. Real quick, first off, thanks again to our sponsors, helping us present this thing, Kent Cartridges and Spawn Do Firearms. Let's do quick introductions, guys, starting over here. Yeah, my name is Trent Newcomb. I'm a senior here at Bowling Green. I've um, been duck hunting for about three years now. Sick, sick. What are you studying? Psychology. And you're a senior? Yep. Love it. Where from? Cleveland area. Cleveland. Yep. Nice. So you started duck hunting in college? Yeah. These guys uh, were the ones that got me into it. So. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And this way? Uh, Zach Johnson. I'm from Newark, Ohio. I'm a senior here. I'm a construction management major. Um, I've been duck hunting for, I guess I really started, I don't know, maybe five, five six years ago. Probably, yeah. Um, actually, this guy kind of got me into it. I was talking his ear off about it, and he was like, all right, let's do it. So now we're just hunting like every day, <laughs> getting after it. And you're done in December. Yeah. Last hurrah. Yeah, this is my last hurrah. Counting the here. days down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've been, we've been hitting it pretty hard so far. Good. And you said GPA is not really a worry. Got a job lined up. No, not at all. Not yeah, at all. Yeah, cool. I don't, I, I don't do homework. Yeah. <laughs> I don't study <laughs> ever. And you're moving to where? Columbus. Columbus. Yep. In January. Yeah. Damn. I, I probably like uh, middle of December. So, which, which, which that date will be nice because that'll run me right up to the end of duck season up here at the Marsh Zone. So, mm-hmm. I'll be able to like finish that out. Bittersweet, though. Graduate, leave. Yeah. Very bittersweet. Yeah. The duck hunting back home is, is not what it is up here mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Comparable. From the same area, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your intro real yeah. quick. Yeah. Uh, Guy Zerman, uh, also a senior from uh, Granville, Ohio. It's like 40 minutes east of Columbus. I'm um, studying marketing. Love it. Also. Love it, love it, love it. And so were you duck hunting before he got involved? Yeah, I started, I, I want to say my first one was, my first hunt was in 2012, I think. Okay, yeah, so hot minute. Yeah. How old were you then? 10? Probably, no, I was probably 14. Oh, how, how old was I? Yeah, you'd you be 10. 20, yeah. How old are you? Yeah. I'm 21. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were like. I think I hit the nail on the head. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. I, that was my math. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like I was fourteen. Yeah. And yeah, I was I don't like, know. hold yeah. on, marketing <laughs> guy. I know my first ever PhD hunt. in marketing. <laughs> yeah. sure. we're way into the doctorate program. <laughs> no math here. Yeah, I yeah. love that. You're you're done in May, and you're done in May. Correct. I'm you done get... December. Oh, you're done December yeah, too. Done December. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, okay, but you don't know yet exactly, no, right? No, I'm w- I'm looking for jobs, but cool. Haven't got anything lined up. When's your lease end? Are you gonna be up here for the spring? It ends in May or. I think it ends in July or something. Technically, August. it's like August. Yeah. August, August, yeah. Because you guys are roommates. We, yeah. 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 How long y'all lived together? The last two years. Yeah. Fun? Uh, mm-hmm. Very fun, yeah. A lot of fun. Well, he lived with us mm-hmm. the year before. Yeah. Last or year. last year. Yeah, last year. Damn. How was that? Y'all just hunting hard together? And yeah. Or is it, this it the hardest fun. you've nice. hunted? This, this is year? definitely this, the hardest we've yes, hunted. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. No doubt. I, yeah. yeah no Senior doubt. year. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I think our schedules are just like our class schedules are really nice for it. Mm-hmm. And then we know it's our last duck season up here, so we're just like I, letting it rip. I hard. think we all try to build our schedules around duck hunting this year. No, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. Like I have my only classes are like right in the afternoon, so I have time to hunt in the morning. And if I need to, or if if I want to, I guess I can go in the afternoon too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's definitely worked out. And like last like last um, last spring when we were scheduling classes for this fall, we like. We we're like, which days like can you do? I was like, I'll try to get my class schedules swapped around so we can yeah. hunt together, that type of deal. Were like, you guys? It's worked out. Were you guys in college for COVID or no? Were you probably high schoolers? No, we would have been. Uh, well, it, it yeah. started would have been my uh, my senior year. I graduated in twenty twenty. I think you guys were both. We were twenty one. Tw- we yeah. Yeah. So it was like the last. It was like spring break of my senior year. Okay. Is when it hit. Spring break of your junior, Our junior year. year. Yeah. 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 I think I think I remember like first semester we had to wear the mask. Mask. And then yeah. second semester. At college here. At college yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Wasn't that crazy? Very strict about it. Too. It was. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. Very strict. See, when we were in, like, it was our spring sophomore year. So fall junior year, like, we hunted a lot because, you I mean, it was like online classes. Right. And a yeah. Lot, right. So. That was cool. I remember the pressure on the marshes was a lot, though. Oh, I bet. Because oh, there's yeah. so many guys that right. got into it working, or yeah. were working from home or whatever. But, no, so that's cool. Tell me a little bit about Bowling Green, just the town and the school. Like, what's your guys' experience been? Senior, senior is going to be done, like, 
what's going to be the lasting impressions of the four years here? Aside I mean, from duck hunting, you can hit on yeah. it too, but yeah, just in just in general, college experience. I mean, like the town and the university, I love it. It's like it it, it gives you like a small town feel. It's like uh, it it's not a small school. I, I think there's like tw- around twenty thousand people it's that go still here. Still a D one school. Yeah, so. yeah. It's it's a small D one, mm-hmm. um, but it kind of has like that small town feel, like. You can't walk down. I guess you could, but like it's it's kind of harder to walk downtown and like not see somebody you know. Versus right. like where like where Guy and I are from, a lot of kids go to OSU, Ohio State, mm-hmm. and I mean that's huge. How many kids? How many? How many? Students it's like sixty thousand. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, it's Undergrad? huge. Yeah. yeah, wow, that's massive. I mean, they have it's dorms giant. in the stadium, which is crazy to me. Yeah. They have dorms in the stadium. In the stadium. Yeah. Explain that to me. I don't really, know how it in works the necessarily, but yeah, like and. The stadium. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. It's pretty crazy. It's a big stadium, though. Yeah. I guess you probably fit some kids in there, but. Yeah. Penn State was like that. Penn State's a big school. Penn yeah. State. We were just there last big, week. Yeah. 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 So, so small town feel. Any other thoughts on it? No, I mean it's there's ton of student involvement. Um, Number one student experience. Yeah. 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 That's true. So was it's, it the New York Times. If that's something you're into. <laughs> if that's something maybe. you're into. Uh, <laughs> you can, you can. Uh, the student experience. Feel involved. Feel yeah, involved. Definitely. Yeah. And you guys, no DU chapter, but we're thinking about trying. But yeah. Yeah. Kind of whatever. Yeah. Hard to get off the ground. And I'm going to plug construction management for a second. Um, <laughs> it's awesome. I feel like like if, if, if you're listening to this and you're a high schooler um, and you hunt a lot and you're thinking about Bowling Green, definitely do construction management. You're surrounded by a lot of people that hunt and fish and like to be outdoors, just like your type of people. Um, great field to get into to work at. And then also, like he said, with the student orgs, um, we have a nice student organization. Like, we do a lot of fun stuff. And really, we have a student org for everything here. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, like, there's, a f- there's, a, there's like a bass fishing club here. Yeah, there's everything. I mean, there's yeah. literally anything you could do. Marketing, like, marketing uh, acad- or there's Academy of Pro- Professional Selling, American Marketing Association. That's just a few I can think of. Like, there's mm-hmm. so many. A lot of ways to get involved, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Good way to meet people. For sure, yeah, yeah especially as a freshman, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No frats, no frat life, no, nope. no frat life here, no, 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 no Greek no. life. No. Okay, is it pretty big here? No, not really. <sighs> yeah, not yeah. really. Um, you can do it or you could not do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yep. it, that's I how like, Iowa was. I would say where we went, like, yeah. you could do it. We had buddies who did it, but there's plenty of us that didn't too. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like you're not cool if you don't here. Right, yeah. right. Are you in any clubs? I'm in the Academy of Professional Selling. Nice. Um, That's kind of what I figured you yeah. would do. Yeah. It was, it's, a, it's a nice way to meet people and kind of get experience and mm-hmm. kind of meet people in the field, network for Definitely. sure. Network. Strong network here, like alumni and stuff. There is. Oh, yeah, there is definitely. a ton. Yeah. I remember when I was talking to my um, my parents, you know, I talked to my parents, told them I was going to come here, and they would obviously tell, like, people around the same age. And it seems like a, there is a ton of people in, like, our parents' age frame that, like, all went to Bowling Green for some reason, and mm-hmm. they all all have amazing things to say mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. And it's one of those schools, it's like the perfect size because I feel like the alumni are still connected to it. Right. Like, you don't get lost in the mix exactly. as much yeah, as, like, 60,000 mm-hmm. people. You right. might just graduate. Like, I went there, got the degree, but whatever. Like, it's like that one bar, what, Brout House? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's been around forever. Right. Yeah. You know, I know you were walking around with a sweatshirt last night or whatever. Yeah. And so the guy we hunted with who's not here, Nick, he worked there. Yes. yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He, he. So he actually lived right above it. Oh wow. So he was living like above it and then nice. working downstairs. And he bartended. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nick's gone. Great guy. Um, a lot of aura. A lot of aura. A lot of aura. Some <laughs> <lot of> <laughs> <aura. laughs> of most aura I've ever seen. Did you guys talk about the mustaches? Or did uh, that just happen? I just no. It just happened. Really? Yeah. So wow, I, that's pretty incredible. Are you talking about Nick's mustache or just talking about just the three just of you general. guys? I mean. I mean, Trent, yeah, I'm still Trent's, working on it. Trent's <laughs> working. Know, Trent's give me working. about six more months, I'll be there. Yeah, I heard that. I've but, been, I've been rocking with mine for a while. A guy yeah. has been too. Yeah, I think I started strong look. playing around with it freshman year of college. Yeah, playing around with it, but I don't think I really started doing it until sophomore year. That's pretty. That's pretty good though. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't really grow facial hair when I was that age. Not yet. Not good. Yeah, I I can't grow beard. Can't you? No, so you just I live can't with grow the mustache. Here. Yeah, that's all right though. It's, just, it's like a good substitute. It's a great substitute. Like, <laughs> I, it makes me look a little older. But it like, does. It does. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, for sure. Do you wish you had facial hair? 
you know, not to I, like dig into that. Right, right. What I get, pretty <laughs> much what I get, major, like, what yeah, I get is, is pretty much just like a little, like you know, little Jeffrey Dahmer kind of pedo stash. <laughs> nothing yeah, nothing yeah. really comes in the middle. <laughs> no, so yeah. the second it starts coming in, it, it's got to go immediately. It's got to come pretty down. Much. Yeah. yeah. How often yeah. do you shave? Uh, two, three times a week, probably. Oh wow. I mean, I shave a lot, but again, it just kind of comes it's in thick and dark, and then it just it just looks bad. Yeah, but it just doesn't yeah. like come in the there, middle. There's definitely I mean? going to be an awkward phase for sure. You just I probably could ride it out. Yeah, yeah. Phase, yeah, I just haven't tried yeah. to. Yeah. That's what I did when I started growing. I just let everything grow, even though it just lo- I looked homeless. Yeah, and then I just shaved the sides. Eventually, once it was, yeah. I could tell it was good. Totally, totally. Yeah. So you're moving to Columbus. Yep. What are you thinking after college? Uh, yeah. I mean, again, I'm a full semester after both yeah, of them, yeah, so yeah. I've kind of started to ramp up the search. I interned with a company this past summer. And I kind of still do some work f- with them now. And I'd like to keep working with them. Um, but, you know, kind of open to whatever. Yeah, I mean, life likely, happens. Yeah, likely going to be on the East Coast. It would be my preference. Oh, so you're trying to leave Ohio. I, I mean, I'd like to stay in Ohio. But if somebody said, here's a job here, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I would go probably. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And then you're still kicking it around, figuring it out. Yeah, I think I, I, don't, I don't know 100% what I'm going to do. Um, I've been thinking about... If I if I don't get a job, or have a job lined up when I graduate, mm-hmm. I might just stay up here and work something until the lease is up. Sure, because it just would make sense for me to go home and not pay rent yeah. or pay or pay rent, but not live there. Yep. So I I think that's what I'll do. Um, of course, if time. I get a job, I'll go somewhere yeah. else. So. No, I get that. I get that for sure. Um, I know we're duck hunting. Uh, your roommates who were here at your place. Yeah. They deer hunt. Mm-hmm. You guys deer hunt? Yeah. We haven't really talked about it a whole yeah, lot. We both I do. do. Not. Mm-hmm. You don't? No. Nope. You duck only? Duck only, yeah. You're sick for it. I yeah. Just, just love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, so how do you guys balance that? What what takes priority? Duck hunting? Uh yeah. Yeah, definitely duck hunting. I, I only deer hunt when I'm when I'm back at home. So like a, like if I'll spend a weekend. Uh, at home i'll try to get out once or twice i think here the second weekend of november because duck season's not in i'm gonna go home usually i don't know i i have a specific date for deer hunting it's november 8th that's always been like the day it's just like non-stop action all day so i always 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 try to hunt that day um so i think i'm gonna try to skip out on classes on that thursday which is the seventh nice well you don't yeah you don't yeah what yeah. do you mean try? Well, okay. <laughs> so everything cool. we've talked about doesn't, doesn't sound yeah, like yeah. a problem at all. So <laughs> I have I have yet to skip a class oh. all year. Good so for far. you. Th- this is That's like huge. this is brand new for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. These guys know okay. from last year. It was like, You're gonna get the gold star of attendance. Like they give out like maybe, first grade. Maybe I'll be the runs of student of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That was me back in the day. A long time ago. That feels Many, many moons ago. But <laughs> okay, so yeah, so like one day, but mostly duck, duck only. Yeah. yeah How I, do you go I, about the balance? Yeah, I think it's a pretty fair balance. Um, I shot a deer earlier this year. Oh, did you? Yeah. Doe? Just a doe. Yeah. Nice. And then, so I usually I th- try to go out and shoot a doe, usually pretty early. And once the rut mm-hmm. is kind of full swing, I'll usually go a few days. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, try to balance it as best as I can, but definitely mainly ducks. That's cool. Yeah. Now, I know you've traveled a little bit to duck hunt. Have mm-hmm. you guys at all? I have not. You're Ohio only? Yep. No. Yeah. I mean, I've only hunted in Ohio, except for when we lived in Nebraska. Um, I mean, I was really young. Like, I wasn't even shooting a gun. My dad would take me out there, but, I mean, that was it. And you were in, like, the Scotts Bluff area? Uh, so, we lived in Sydney. I was born in Scotts Bluff. Okay, lived okay. in Sydney. Um so actually, both my parents worked at the Cabela's like headquarters, which uh-huh. where, where it was. Not there anymore, but yeah, it's not there anymore. No, mm-hmm. I think that place is like a ghost town. Sydney. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I mean that was like supporting the whole mm-hmm. town. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah. So so we um he, he used to take me out uh, going there, and I have some pretty good memories of that. But, with with your dad. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But I mean that's, that's so that's really it. Yeah. Okay, it's only cool. been in Ohio. Cool, cool, cool. And I mean, it, I mean, you guys are hunting right off Lake Erie. Like today, we were. I mean, right there. Yeah. So we saw birds, and they're around mm-hmm. for okay. sure. Yeah. It's definitely not a bad place to be. No. You know. Yeah. Um, there's like a lot of, there's three different zones, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So we're in the marsh zone, 
There's a north zone and a south zone. Yep. It's better. What the best zone is the marsh zone. Yeah, I would say yeah. by far. And that's yeah. the marshes right off Lake Erie. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. fairly yeah. competitive. Yeah. Yes. It, it's like a it's like a small strip. Like I I don't know how how big it is exactly, but it's like comes down Lake Erie and then goes like that way. Like mm-hmm. pretty much. I don't. I think I don't it think stops the whole. I think it's the whole way. Yeah. It's, is it the whole? I don't way? think, I think so. it is. No. I think it like stops after like somewhere after Sandusky. I could it be wrong, be. but it definitely goes to Cleveland because I hunted oh, out in the eastern side of Cleveland. That was, I mm. believe, still the Marsh Zone. Okay, hunted out on the lake. The nor- I mean, the North Zone can be pretty solid. Can't, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's probably I like mean, right there, especially right. I mean, they like blend into each other, right? You know? And here in Bowling Green, I mean, it's it's still pretty solid. If yeah. you can get if you can get a good field, mm-hmm. you know, you'll have some good luck. Or like but, or like on on the river. Yeah, um, the river's good. Yeah, especially when everything freezes up. Yeah, the river's thousands. Money. It's thousands. It's crazy. Really? Is it really? Mallards just because <clears throat> like the the marshes are like the first to freeze over, and then they're like, oh, we want to go south, find water. Mm-hmm. And then there's this huge river just cutting through. Which like, river is that? The Maumee River. Maumee. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so it seems like they just stack up in there, mm-hmm. but it's like always a race. Is like, is that going to happen before the end of season or not? Mm-hmm. Sure. Because it's like so hit or miss. The winter's yeah. here. When it does, though, it's probably. Yeah. It's pretty. Crazy. It can get crazy. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like those videos out in, like those warm water sloughs out out west or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like everything will be locked up, and then them birds just piling in there. Right. So I where all have you duck places. hunted before? Have you been out that way? Uh, I've been. To Nebraska and Louisiana. That's it. That's yeah. That's okay, it. Okay, cool. And Louisiana was kind of tough. Yeah, Louisiana. We just didn't. It, it was a weird. It was December. It's right before Christmas, which is. I'm a little surprised there weren't that many birds down there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was just tough hunting that week. Yeah. So, unlucky. Is it warm? It yeah yeah yeah. It was like 70 degrees. Oh wow! Like right before Christmas. Isn't that mm-hmm. crazy? It's wild compared to you guys being up here. Yeah, it was yeah. like it's gonna be fairly cold tomorrow. Yeah, like right yes, around freezing. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And that'll be the coldest day you guys have had. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I think it'll be Down the coldest there, day yeah, of the year. Yeah, sure. yeah. Really? Yeah. To this point. Yes. To yeah. This point, yeah. Hopefully that plays in our favor. I hope so. Yeah. I really hope so. And I, north winds yeah. tonight. North winds all day today. North, north winds all night. Yeah. Cold day. Could be a Fingers banger. crossed. Fingers crossed. You'd like to thank. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can only do what you can do, but yeah. You'd think. Yeah. It's usually a little bit warmer up there, anyways, though, just because the lake kind of holds heat for the. Oh, really? Yeah, because you know what? It, it until it like you get that first frost, the the lake will hold that heat and it doesn't get quite as cold at night. But once you get a good stretch of of cold nights, then it it gets real cold. Oh, that interests me. The thing is, the wind is brutal. Yeah, yeah wind there's just like, the like, it's normal. nothing it's blocking really it. Windy yeah, because there's nothing there. Yeah, mm-hmm. interesting. Nothing blocks it. Is there any diver hunting on that lake? There is. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's big on Lake Michigan. Yeah. 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 I, I think it's fairly big on Lake Erie as well. Is um, it? Yeah, we just don't. They're do just it. massive bodies of water. Yeah, like it's yeah. pretty wild. They're like seas, basically. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you guys spend much time on them at all, like fishing or? I think boat I or do. Anything? Yeah, you do? yeah. I have a place, a uh, little cottage. My family does, um, kind of like the shores and islands. There's a couple of big uh, islands out there, um, and we just have like a little cottage. We got a little boat, jet ski, stuff like that. So we oh, do a lot cool. of fishing, and yeah, it's a great place for. Um, yeah, fishing and all that stuff. What it's, do you catch? Um, well, walleye is probably what most people look for, but there's a good perch season. Uh, there's a lot of smallmouth. Yeah, I think the smallmouth's um, pretty solid there. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Usually we go for like walleye just for eating and stuff like that. Yeah, and how do you fish for them? You troll for them, or what do you do? Uh, trolling's usually the best. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we've had so many like record breaking hatches in the past like five years ago to the point that now they're finally like catchable size. Mm-hmm. Um, you can catch them anywhere. Really? I mean, any way. I mean, any way, anywhere. I mean, that's it's, crazy. It's crazy. Even yeah. in like the bay, which like usually they stay out kind of deeper. Um, they're even going in the bay because there's just there's just so many. There's so many of them. Yeah. And not enough places to go. How deep does that lake get? It's shallow. Not very. Yeah. yeah. Really? It, yeah. So that's shallow. that's one of the big things with it. Um, as a boater, like you have to be very careful um, because it just kicks up so fast. I mean, we do a lot of like trips and stuff like that on jet skis and and boats and you'll go out at whatever, 10 when you're coming back at like three o'clock, you're in probably like four footers, four or five footers. Really? I mean, you go out dead calm and you're coming back and you're getting, you're getting hammered. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Cause it just picks up, it just picks up out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so shallow that it just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Totally. Oh, that's interesting. I would have guessed it was deeper than that. 
yeah, looking at it, it looks I th- yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's so much yeah. water. But yeah. th- I mean, that makes sense. I think it, I believe it is the shallowest of the Great Lakes. Of the Great Lakes, yeah. I, think I believe it's, it's only like a hundred feet at its deepest point. I don't even know if Maybe it's that. Cal- yeah, I mean, it's it's like it's very shallow. Let's look it up. Yeah, I was Richard, looking. Rich Sam, yeah. <laughs> could you look that up? Gosh, we appreciate that. <laughs> We're like calling Jamie. Can you guys believe this? The day yeah, after President do. Trump went on Joe Rogan, you guys are on Campus Water Lake Erie. Podcast. Awesome. I know. This is That's like huge. Yeah. 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 Mark it down. <laughs> are we going to do numbers as good as yeah, that? Yeah, right. How was far? 210. 210. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. okay. That's, I mean, that, does, it, does it give an average depth? <laughs> what, what's, what's please? He's like Jamie. Yeah, please. On Joe Can we get a please and thanks? <laughs> Jamie, could you please pull that up? Average yeah. Depth of 62 feet. Yeah. Yeah, but oh. that's pulling I mean, the mean like, though. So I get what you right. mean. Like it's it's shallow because that's like taking your two ten and your and it's right out outliers. Do you but want any other <laughs> no, we're good for now. We'll probably circle back. <laughs> we'll probably circle back. A lot of it's actually Canadian <laughs> waters too. Just, just be on standby. <laughs> now explain that to me. It's Canadian waters. Yeah. What's that so mean? you really don't have to go. I mean, I think probably five miles, ten miles out. Might need them for that again. Um, <laughs> and. It, you're you're you'll get the text on your phone like we'll be out there we go too far out and you'll get the welcome to canada text cause really? you know, yeah go too far out now there. do you need different licensing and stuff for that yeah so i mean if you kind of like go in like into the waters like technically you're not allowed to but it's like oh hey sorry i mean it's not like there's a wall there you know right, what i mean right. there's no there's no markers that say you're in canada mm-hmm. now um but so there's there's four islands that are like the big islands um in that lake erie islands chain um Three of them are American soil, and then the biggest of them is in uh, Canadian waters. Interesting. Uh, Peely Island. We should go take that. Peely Island's a cool place. I think we should. There's yeah. not much going on there, though. I think, yeah, well, I feel think like there's any could ducks be ours. there. I bet yeah. there is. You I think? Know. I bet. I think I mean, there's, there's got to be decent hunting there. Like, I, there's a family in my town that goes there all the time. Yeah. Like, just. Duck hunts? I don't know what they do, but they're <laughs> they're always they're just there. They are always there. <laughs> well, they're going to international water. That makes me wonder what they're doing yeah, for right. sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely, because <laughs> rules Definitely. get different. Dude, yeah. Do we just like take a send and go to Canada tomorrow? Okay. Just take the boat, find a boat, and take the boat. There you go. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll probably leave the cameras if we do that. But <laughs> yeah, Sam and I are always <laughs> down to get western for sure. Yeah. Um. Okay, so off that, I love that. Um, let's talk, not to get too out of whack or whatever, but if you could duck hunt anywhere, where would you go? I want to start with you. One hunt. Uh, one weekend. I have an uncle out in Montana, yeah, and he talked about it. It would be pretty cool. And just, again, he's been out in Montana for pretty much the entire time I've been alive, so I think it would be really cool to, to go out there with him. Where's he at? Uh, he, went to, he went to Mizzou. We kind of talked about it last night, oh, yeah, University yeah. of Montana, so... Um, I think just outside of there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. That'd be sweet. That's where I think Sam's that's going over there. Yeah, Missoula. Yeah. Sam's going over there next weekend with the University of Montana, them boys. So that'll be cool. That's cool. Yeah. How about you? One weekend anywhere. I, oh, I'm either going to go like the northeast part of South Dakota, like in those like glacial lakes, or, uh-huh. like, like Watertown area, uh-huh. or I'm going to go western Nebraska, uh, like the Platte River, like Ooh, the, the good North answer. Platte River. Good yeah. answer. That's a forgotten about area. Yeah, that's it's really good. good. Yeah, really, really good. It's really cool at the end of the so, year. So, so my my mom grew up there. Um, actually, so when he went out to Nebraska, that's um, where we hunted on the North Platte. So yeah. you were in, you Minitaire. were you, you were in Minotaur. Yeah. So my uh, my mom's side of the family, my grandpa and like grandma. And, Great grandparents. They grew up in, or like they they still live in Minotaur. My mom grew up out there, and I remember she was telling me a story, and it was totally unrelated to duck hunting. But so there was a big like sugar. I think it was sugar beet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a sugar beet factory. Mm. And I guess they would dump all the excess like waste, Mm -hmm. so like super sugary, like liquid into the Platte River. Yeah. Like yeah, I think what that does for ducks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like they're in there just. They're humming to it. Yeah, uh-huh. right. So I think that'd be really cool. I highly doubt they can they do that anymore. Yeah, just, I don't feel like they would, but yeah, that no. is still really good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I think that'd be really cool. I know really guys cool. who like guide or like outfit the rest of the year, and because mm-hmm. it stays open so late over there, that's where they'll go after their season. It's yeah. Just like fun hunt. Right. For like three weeks, and it's like the pictures and the videos and stuff is just absurd. Yeah. I, there's, there's so many wintering birds. Like people yeah. don't know, you know? 
Yeah, I, I think it'd be a blast. It. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be kind of basic, I think, and just the flooded timber in Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. that's a good answer. Yeah. I think it'd be, be awesome. Cool. I don't think there's anything basic about that at all. Well, I mean, I think everyone. Everyone says that those like, are get that. Yeah. yeah. But I, I just think it'd be awesome to be in there. Oh, yeah. It's very, it's a lot of it, a lot of that's public too, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is kind of what's cool about it. Mm-hmm. And that's what's cool about up here with you guys. It seems like there's a good amount of public opportunities. Yeah. There is, yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. South Dakota's really good about that yeah. too. Mm-hmm. I've never hunted Nebraska, so I don't know. And I don't know about Montana, but. Yeah, public opportunities are important. I mean, especially in the collegiate, what you guys are doing, like it's just leases and stuff like that. It's just completely tough to pull off. Yeah. So to have, uh, I mean, what we drive forty minutes from campus today. Yeah, mm-hmm. give or take. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, that's not bad and, at it, all. No, and that's and like we the, walk in too. You didn't even need a boat. Right. You know, that's another thing about it. So. Yeah. And I mean, as college students, like we like none of us like grew up here like we so we don't know any farmers or families or anything right. like it, it's so, i feel like it's so hard to walk up knock on a door and be like fully introduce yourself you don't know anything about me right can i hunt your plus property? you're a college kid right like you're coming mm-hmm. you're going it's in and out it's, yeah like you can do the best you can but they're going to assume that there's not going to be much of a relationship there right. right you know what i mean right yeah yeah so public opportunities are huge mm-hmm. i mean it seems like ohio does a decent job with that yeah um mm-hmm. Which is really cool. I mean, is there many people that outfit up here? Like outfitters? Is there a lot of that? I feel like uh, there's a lot on the, on the lake. lake. Yeah. yeah. On the lake. There are a lot of divers. Then there's a few places. I don't think there's many, but I think there's some that have like flooded corn and all that. Sure. Yeah. Probably towards like Sandusky or mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, because the diver thing is kind of interesting because it's just such a weird, different way to hunt. Yeah. We did it in Wisconsin last year with students up there. And we did it like DIY, like do it yourself, mm. like. Which is just tough, um, just because we were trying to film out of a layout boat, and they had a layout boat, so you're restricted on opportunities, because mm. right? only one guy can hunt. And then they had like the boat, and you go pick them up, so it's an interesting thing. I mean, I'm sure the outfitting for it's super popular. Yeah. Because people want to hunt those right. birds, and like, it's just hard to do. Right, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that type of hunting, I think it like scares me. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. think I'd be interested in doing it. No. Maybe, maybe Laying like a layout one boat. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I get motion sick and yeah, well, there'd be big waves out there on yeah, the big yeah. water. It's yeah, just crashing I mean, over did, you. Did, mm-hmm. did you guys yeah. enjoy it? Like, was it fun? No, it was not fun to film. Well, Sam. <laughs> oh, no. Producer it was Sam, probably, it's probably hard sleepy to film. Yeah. Me, man. <laughs> it was brutally hard to film. Yeah, I really bet. Hard. That's what I was gonna yeah, just like. It can't be easy to film. Yeah. No, and like we were, we didn't get much wind, so like, but the birds come in so low, like mm. you can't even see them. And then you're trying to get the camera on them. It's happening fast, so it's really hard to film. Right. Um, but I mean, they they kill them. I mean, not where we didn't have any luck with it, really. I mean, the kids did their best, but mm-hmm. uh, one of the kids went out to Lake Michigan like a week later and got into him pretty good with an outfitter. Okay. But it's just that that's just a totally different yeah. deal, right? You know? yeah. But the diver thing certainly got more popular. Mm-hmm. It seems like. Yeah, I don't know anything about like diver hunting. Yeah, it's, if it's somebody were to be like. Where should we go? I'd be like, I, yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about like where to go. Mm-hmm. We just like drove out in the middle, and they were like, "This will work." Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, like it wasn't really Something a whole rhyme or reason back. to it. It was like you just put them out there, and then yeah, it was odd. Mm-hmm. It's so like uh, unnatural to like a hunter. Yeah, because there's no hide. Like you're just laying there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're like wearing gray too. Mm-hmm. Like you don't even wear camo because. The boat's gray. Mm-hmm. So it's just a weird deal. I didn't really care for I mean, it would be cool if you got on a good one. Now, do, sure. do the divers not see the boat because they they fly so low to the water? or I don't know the math on it. <laughs> they zip no. in there. Yeah. You know? I mean, so I don't know if that's it. But Oof. they say it's hard to, I mean, like, guys have a hard time, like, sitting up mm. to shoot out right. of those boats, like, especially mm. older guys. Yeah. So. That's fair. And what, so we're talking about, I don't know if we're going to go on it tomorrow or not, but. Uh, one of, one of you guys has a buddy who's doing like a potentially a field hunt tomorrow, or yeah, do you, get, do you guys yeah. get on those often, do you, or do you like hunting water more? I I, I prefer to hunt water. Yeah, um, it's kind I, of the equalizer. Yeah, field hunting you have to be set up. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a bigger spread, a frame, panel blind, like layouts. Like it's not as easy to. Yeah, and honestly, I'd rather save it for like late season. Uh, like yeah. let's shoot ducks while they're here. We can worry about the geese later. But uh-huh. a good field hunt. 
like field mallards. That is fun. Yeah. Would you go field mallards or wet wa- wet wet mallards? Wet water. 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 Water over Still field. Water. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably water. Yeah. I've never even done one, but I I would say probably water. I don't know. Yeah, I've Something I've always loved atmosphere. water. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've always loved water. I mean, it can kind of be tough to work through. Right. Like today was tough. Yeah. A little bit yeah. tough. It wasn't horrible, yeah. but it was a bit of a soft bottom. Yeah. We about lost you in there a couple yeah, times. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that might be my final resting place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I made it out. Thankfully. Yeah, you did. It was brutal. It's a brutal walk. <laughs> it yeah. kind of is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leg day. It's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keeping you guys yeah. young, keeping yeah. you loose. Yeah. Yeah. And now, and I don't want to give away where you're at, but that usually has more water in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It and explain does. to me again, because we've talked about it, but for the podcast sake, like what's going on with that? The DNR is fixing it or something? Yeah. So uh, during, so we went out there during teal season. We kind of heard rumors uh, about it, blah, blah, blah. And then so eventually got a hold of, I can't remember. I think it was something Ritter. Was that his, his name? I, I don't remember his name. But um, so he, he kind of like runs like the, he runs a few of the marshes up there and, from a DNR perspective, yeah, and and that was that was one of them, and so he was just saying, I, I was asking him, I was like, I'm hearing this, this, and this, what's true, what's not, what's actually happening. So um, the Ohio DNR, they were partnering with Ducks Unlimited. Um, I they go were, figure, yeah, <laughs> look at that, yeah, I know. And so they were partnering with Ducks Unlimited. They were repairing, um, I think, some dike walls. I think they were actually extending it into a certain um, portion of the of the property uh actually the, like the actual marsh part of it um and i think they were replacing a bunch of pumps and mm-hmm. uh, it, 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 it there was another part of it something to do with like um like water uh, something with like water filtration or quality i don't know, something something similar to that sure well, he said the reason they're starting so late also like we're like why wouldn't they do it over the summer or something it's because I guess there's a protected grass or something. It's like a grass. There's always right. stuff like mm. that. Yeah. So they could go in there until it goes dormant. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so so, so he told me that it would, like the protected, protected plant. Grass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that it goes dormant in like the middle of October, and as soon as that date hits, they're gonna be full force. They have yet to be out. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. So it's like. <laughs> No oh, like anybody. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds, yeah, that sounds like government work for sure. But I was yeah. like, so like, are they even doing anything out there? Yeah, yeah. You know, they met next October. Probably. Yeah. See you then when yeah. they get around. Yeah, there. yeah. Right. It works. To do this right. is filling up, dude. You have yeah. no idea. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. That's always interesting. Like I remember when uh, on my side of state in Iowa, we had a really bad flood in like 08 or 09, and the Corps engineers held all this water in South Dakota. Mm-hmm. in the Missouri River because there was like a bird that they were trying to protect or something and it ended up destroying like who knows how much farmland and people property and stuff like people yeah. lost stuff and and I don't I mean who's to say I guess I'm not educated enough on it to give an opinion but mm-hmm. I mean when you hear rumors like that it's like wow you just don't consider how much stuff is like protected and the red tape mm-hmm. to go through all this you know right so I guess I get it I mean that property that we we're in would be I mean, it'd be quite a lot if it was full of water. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. honestly, like, it'd yeah. be a ton to hunt. Yeah, there is you know? a lot. It's There's a lot, a lot there. there yeah. and is that, have you guys hunted that in years past? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's, okay. that's really usually where we go. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of the staple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's been our that's BGSU. All yeah. Yes. yeah. It's all yep. walking. That's crazy. No way to get a boat in there. No. As far as I'm concerned. And even if you did, I don't even know if it'd benefit you that much. Yeah. To yeah. be honest. Yeah. It's just, just small enough that I don't think it would really help you out, to be honest. Yeah. It's like... It's like kind of a pain to walk into, but it's like not that bad. There's another marsh though that's usually pretty solid here. That's mm-hmm. you can walk in and take a boat. Mm-hmm. Um, that one that would be nice to have a boat for that one though. Yeah, yeah for sure. Big, bigger. It would be, yeah, it would be awesome. More stuff to get into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that. I got that. All right. Well, off duck hunting. Um, hockey game tonight. You guys are like a hockey school. Yeah. Here. Yes. Yeah. Talk to me about it. So, He's the hockey guy. Yeah. You're a hockey you, guy. Yeah. I think you won states, didn't you? Okay. We don't, <laughs> we don't need that. You were the runs of hockey player of the week. <sighs> yeah. 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 Player, player of the day. Player of the day. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't get weak. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, so BG plays Ohio State tonight. It's been kind of like a it's been kind of a rivalry rivalry. 
uh, going on these past couple of years. I mean, the, our place fills up. We get a ton of people coming up from Columbus. Um, so th there's only three D1 hockey teams in Ohio. So there's Miami of Ohio. Yeah, they're pretty good too. Aren't yeah, they? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's and a then, good state for it. Yeah, and then OSU and then Bowling Green. So it's a big game tonight. Yeah, um, huge. I, I would love to go, but I don't know. We were up pretty early. So. Yeah, we were up early. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if you end up going. But what's yeah. y'all's what's y'all's favorite sporting event to go to here on campus? Hockey. Yeah, hockey, probably hockey. Honestly, yeah. Are they yeah. the best? Yeah, yeah, they're fun. And yeah. like the 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 the, the atmosphere is great. Yeah. It's like a smaller arena kind of. It's got like a real low dome, so it gets real loud and the energy's good. People yeah. seem to get into it a lot yeah, more yeah. than the football games. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just a good time in there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. It's fun when it, I mean gets chippy. It's just mm. it's just fun. They like, can't fight, can they? Watch. They can't fight. No, they can't like drop mitts, but um, they'll, they'll How sick would that be, though? That would be, that would that'd be, be awesome. awesome. You're sitting in class with a guy. Who's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're sitting Comes in, in with a black eye. Some yeah. dude out <laughs> two nights before. You're like, damn, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cool, you man. Got some hands. <laughs> um, so, have you guys, since you've been here, uh, what's been like the, like what sport hockey's been the closest? Like what sport's been the closest to winning a national championship? Actually, I. Th I think it would be like our women's basketball team. I was going to say. Didn't they oh, like, girl, girl I girl. think they finished like top four NIT. That was like NIT. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, um, that's, that's, that's but they were pretty good, I think, for like just all of women's sports. But I think our volleyball team is pretty solid, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I watched them play a lot Ohio of thinking, State a lot of thinking, in Columbus. Guys. Did you? Yeah. And they, they actually, I mean, they, I think they lost like in like two or three I think three they lost sets. like the last set. Didn't they? I, th I think I no, remember it, seeing this. No, it didn't go to like the full length. It didn't go five. No. Uh -uh. If they lost in three sets, that would be called a sweep. Yeah, so they got yeah, swept, so but it's yeah. Ohio yeah. State, so it's like <laughs> I get you. I know okay. I get that. I feel like baseball. I wasn't baseball oh, really good last year. Right. They, they were our baseball team was insane yeah. last year. They won really? the MAC yeah, I championship. About that. Oh, that's cool. I don't remember what they what was That's actually... They were like, I think they set yeah. the record for like most wins, like most consecutive wins, because they, they like went undefeated for, I don't know how like many games. 30 yeah. plus games or something yeah. crazy like that. Mm -hmm. We actually almost lost our baseball team yeah. like three, three, four years ago like during a, COVID. Like a funding really. thing? Yeah. yeah. COVID, yeah, they were, they were like, it. we're going to have to cut you because we don't have enough money. And then really? we've put out a couple pros, I think. Okay. Um, BG has, and they like, they funded the program to keep them afloat. Mm -hmm. The pros did? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like guys who were in it before? Mm hmm Oh, I'm looking at a guy right now. John Birdie. He's playing in the World Series. Is he right? Oh, nice. Yeah, he's a, uh, he's a Yankee. Look at that. Hmm. Hmm. They, they, have, they have a walk-off win last night. Oh, no, that was the, the Dodgers. Dodgers, the Dodgers yeah. Yeah. That was pretty unreal. I saw that, that was, was the first walk-off home run in... Grand Slam, for, too. For, yeah, that's first walk-off Grand Slam in uh, World Series ever. Huh. No, was it was it show because 36 that, years no that's what i just read freddie freeman oh freeman i thought 36 years ago a different dodger did it is what i thought i saw mm. maybe i'm wrong though no. it doesn't no. matter i mean i didn't sleep that a i remember what uh so. what instagram page i heard that from no free shout outs <laughs> <laughs> what 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 ig page were you on uh Plugs. it was i think it was could NHL be the move discussion. could be the move yeah cbtm <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Freddie Freeman and Kurt Gibson walk it off game one of the World Series 36 years apart to this day. That's cool. Oh, but maybe he hit a home run, and maybe this was a grand slam. Yeah, see, yeah, see this is, uh, I don't know why, it's NHL discussion. I don't know why they posted it. <laughs> they said, news, what a moment, the first walk-off grand slam in World Series history. Probably just because it's cool. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Engagement yeah. farming. That is, I mean, yeah. that's big. Yeah. They're just engagement farming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah huge. It was huge. Y'all go to any baseball games or no? No. Like, Are you talking here or just in general? Here. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. no. I'm not as involved in the sports as I probably should be, honestly. Yeah. As a I don't. It's yeah, cool. I've never even been to our basketball team. I have. Like, I've never I haven't even been in our arena. Mm -mm, me neither. <laughs> I literally haven't even been there. No. I went in there for graduation one year. That's yeah. it, though, probably. Yeah. 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 That was it. That's not good. You've I've been in the hockey arena I am. plenty. So you're like an NFL guy. We talked about that a little bit. Yep. All Cleveland sports. Just All Cleveland got, sports. Yeah, just lost to the Yankees, so it's, I know the it's a sore subject. Yeah, it is. Guardians, Indians. Fun series, though. 
It was. They they put up a little. They had bit a good of a year. Fight. They had a good year. Yeah, I mean, considering a lot of people didn't even project them to go five hundred to the, be the whole AL Central had a good year. They had because I'm like a Royals well, fan because I grew except, up except for the White Sox. Well, they're horrible. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I guess it was a <laughs> noteworthy year. Yes, yes. Because even was. the White Sox made the news a lot mm-hmm. for how bad they were. Yeah, true, that yeah. is true. And Columbus, are you guys Ohio State fans then at all, or no? Because you came here. <sighs> Did you grow up Ohio State fans? Yeah. No. So I mean, we're a transplant. So like. My family doesn't really care yeah, about Ohio State yeah, that yeah, much, yeah, but yeah. like I've started to catch on a little bit. Like, it, it's fun to like watch games and root for them just because it's like hometown team, pretty sure. much. But I'm not the biggest fan, I guess. Uh-huh. Even though I'm from Cleveland, like we're still big, big Ohio State fans. Yeah, I believe there. that. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I mean, it's the whole state for sure. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Same you? thing. Ohio State. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, they definitely. I mean, had plenty of good years. Oh yeah. When Urban was there. Every year, yeah. Jim mm-hmm. Trestle before that and. All right, um, let's let's move to a couple questions. We have played this or that in the past, but I'm just going to ask them open-ended because I kind of feel like doing that. I know we were talking about it a little bit today. Um, one, one good hunt this year, what species would you prefer it to be? Just one species? Uh-huh, one species. Like you limit out on this duck. Mm. Not just for the pictures or anything, but just like the way they work, how they fly, like – calling interaction like take it all into consideration because we shot a lot of gadwalls today yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. gadwall are fun to shoot yeah mm-hmm. i like gadwall oh this is a hard question it is a hard question <laughs> yeah i think black ducks Ooh. Black ducks or cool. widgeon yeah well yeah widgeon are cool, cool. We, we shot some widgeon this year yeah i think black ducks so they're just awesome i think they're awesome to shoot i think never killed fun. one they're so, they're awesome. Never seen one. It's ba- it's just it's really just a mallard, a black mallard. I feel like really, yeah, yeah. it's just dark. They work the same way. I think yeah, I yeah. think it's like the same thing, same bird. That's cool. Pretty much yeah. So it's black ducks. Fun. What would you go? I feel like I might just go mallard. Classic. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I think they're just like fun. Yeah, they like, are. They're just they're just fun, cool birds. Like, mm-hmm. uh, although Gad Gadwall or Gadwall are they're they're fun. Yeah. Gadwall drakes are awesome. Yeah. I think they're super pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super pretty. Just to be different, I mean, I don't really think I have any any specific one, but, like, I don't know, when we worked that pack of teal, that mm. was, I mean, they that just come fun. in so yeah. fast. And, you know what, I mean, if you I could like really, answer. like, limit out on that, I mean, yeah, I think yeah. that would be pretty cool. I think a lot of guys, like, take them for granted because, like, mm-hmm. there's a lot of them around early and, like, whatever, but it's, like, mm-hmm. that's a fun hunt. Yeah. yeah. When they keep dumping in. Because they're yeah. just no, whole, I mean, it's just no hesitation. Like mm-hmm. they're just, mm-hmm. yeah. And they're I like that. So fast. That's what they happened. are fast. So there we were. It was last week. Yeah, last, yeah. Was last yeah. week. We we're just sitting, and we we're we should have been on the point, which we ended up hunting the point the next time we hunted there, but um, we weren't just because I don't think we. It was our first time there, and we just didn't realize that kind of that it was a point, um, and they just come around it. <laughs> like bending like, it in. Yeah, just yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah. Just as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. It's like right above the water. Pack of like fifteen. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, they're fun. It was awesome. They're yeah. totally fun. How about this? Sure. One. So like uh in our spread today, we had a mojo, we had the rippler, we had the agitators, spinners, whatever. You can only have one tool, jerk rig as well. Only one of those can sit in your spread. What are you going with? Hmm. You can have as many decoys as you want, but only one whatever you want to call it, like mo- motion tool movement. I think jerk rig. Ooh. Cause, oh, oh Old only because of up here, because there's we've talked about it a little bit. There's so much pressure up here, and nobody's running. I don't think ever jerk rigs. Yeah, up everyone's here. gotten lazy with it. Yeah, so yeah. Like, I think they just go buy the movement decoys and they just get done with it. Yeah, so I mm-hmm. think it's just something different for them to see up here. Mm-hmm. Different kind of movement that they're not used to, mm-hmm. in a spread at least. Mm-hmm. So I think for up here, definitely a, a jerk rig. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You guys is homemade, right? No. Uh-uh. Oh, you bought it. Yeah. Does, was I working it like this? We had a homemade one in college. Sam built it. Okay. No, I mean, oh, I. What do you think? <laughs> Last year I had a homemade one. That and thing was a beast. Dude, it was that beast. the weight on dude, that it was like, thing. It was like a five pound anchor. <laughs> we sweet all that thing out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. And so last year, um, we were actually hunting in the same spot we were today. Uh, we were hunting a different hole, and 
like threw it out and i was my buddies pick up i'm like hey can you pick up you can pick up the anchor the line just snapped <laughs> oh, no. and we're just like oh so i'm like can you, can you, can you get that out yeah and he's like digging around for it digging around for it if it was in Couldn't where we're at today it. it probably sunk in i think probably, that's exactly yeah. what happened it yeah. just got sunk in yeah it would have Really so the, easily. the line snapped, and I was just like, I was getting a new one. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So he's jerk rig. What are you? It's, it's okay if you have the same answer, too. I know this is kind of contradicting our hunt and what I was saying about the mojo, but I would almost go mojo. Yeah. I, I think in certain situations, it's mojo, so especially it's like, early season on, like, unpressured birds. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things. It's like everyone has one, so you feel like. But it's like everyone has one, so you feel like you have to have one. It's yeah. you know what I mean. It's that back and forth, of like well, everyone has one, so what's the help of me? Right. But then it's like well, everyone has one, so if you want to even be on a level playing field. Well, like wow. we were, we were smoking them at like fifteen yards. <laughs> to what today? Yeah. Yeah, totally. They were like in our face. Eight mojos in there's <laughs> absurd. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I. So th- you're gonna go mojo? I think I probably go mojo. I like yeah. that. So we got a jerk rig a mojo. You could you be the deciding uh, vote, or you could go different. I'll go. Uh, I'll go with that spitter. That, that worked for 30 minutes. In that first 30 minutes, I we shot that. a lot of ducks. And You're right. it, it worked for that, that 30 that minutes. True. That it stopped true. working. It worked. And you know what? We didn't shoot as, quite as many ducks after that. So. We didn't shoot it. We they actually didn't shoot well. a single duck after it quit. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, really? I don't know if we did. That was the. That was the, the we got to get that up. thing running again. That was, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're giving out our secrets here, guys. I'm yeah, telling right. you right now, if we put out there tomorrow, it quits. We, it's over. Yeah. Send yeah. Our pack I'm sending yeah. it back. No, yeah. literally. We got places to be, anyways. So it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It turns off. Like, All right. That's it. We're <laughs> out. <laughs> so right. it's dead. Drive back to Tennessee. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Um, let's do one more. Uh, sun or clouds? Because you guys were kind of going back and forth today. A lot of guys like hunting in the sun, but I heard some. Some love for the clouds from you guys. I'm going to go clouds because most days are fairly sunny. Here? Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel so like. So it's almost like it breaks it up for you. Yeah. It's like, you know, like I, I think it just gives them a little bit different weather. Something different to look at, a little different weather. Yeah. Yeah, okay. for sure. That's a respectable answer. I'm not going to tell you you're right or wrong. <laughs> I know how you feel about it. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? You like the sun. The I don't know. I've wind. been told by people I'm supposed to like the sun. Yeah, <laughs> I think I just parrot ideas. I'm told I don't believe anything. Guys. <laughs> yeah, me neither. When I'm in this chair, I'm just searching for your guys' answers. I think, me personally, all, honestly, clouds also. Really, I've had all my best hunts have been cloudy, overcast days. Mm-hmm. Well, I would honestly the hunt we had the other day when it was like partly cloudy, a little bit more overcast. Yeah. There's still some sun peeking through. Mm-hmm. Nice. That would be ideal. Yeah. But if I'd have choose between the two, over like cloudy. Probably cloudy is the, mm-hmm. the ideal though. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't really say I have any any Reference. knowledge to say. Yeah, either nice. or. I mean, whatever day they're coming in to me. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> good answer. That's a good yeah. line. That yes. feels like something we could close with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, then we'll close with it. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Um, well, not me. <laughs> Can I do my clothes? Or sorry, sorry, sorry. Know, you got someone like, to be oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you said it's the clothes. He's got a psychology test. So we'll yeah, I do. So. Big exam on Monday. All right. Hey, thank you guys uh, for this weekend. The hospitality has been extremely appreciated. Trenton, Zach, right? Yep. And Guy. Look at that. I haven't tried to do that yet, but I'm glad I got that right. Bowling Green State University. The Falcons were up here at Saturday afternoon. We had a good hunt this morning. Got into him decent. We'll do one more tomorrow, and we're going to hit the road. So we appreciate you guys um, for the hospitality of Sam and I being up here again. And then we appreciate the listeners, the watchers of the podcast for checking in. Um, thanks to Kent and Spondu again for making it happen. And uh, that'll be a wrap on podcast number five for Collegiate Waterfowl Tour 2024. Thanks again. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys. Go Falcons. Thanks.